is to you, Mary Fortune, we love well served. Now to our fifth honoree of the night, it will be Mr. Pierre Bichami.
person who crosses this path, including U.S. presidents, congressmen, governors, right down to the person standing next to him in the grocery store. Pierre is the managing director and executive editor of the region's largest Arabic English newspaper, Profile News. He's the senior partner of the Diversity Advertising Agency, He's been recognized by Global Cleveland, the American Nationalities Museum, Cranes Magazine, is a recipient of the Trailblazer Award from the Arab American Foundation in Washington, D.C. He's also the president of Cameo, the Cleveland American Middle Eastern Organization. Strong supporter of our arts community, served on the board of the Cleveland Cultural Foundation, Garden Foundation, that is. Founder and chairman of the American Lebanese Community Council, which promotes Lebanese heritage and traditions. He's also on the advisory committee for the Cleveland Public Theater and was instrumental in developing the Arabic theater. He's also served at our world-renowned Cleveland Museum of Art. I want to share a little story this family shared with me because it fits in so perfectly. And it was a telling of something to come. When Pierre was in elementary school, his teacher asked his fellow students what they want to be when they grow up. One student said, I want to be a teacher. Another an engineer, the third said he was going to be a doctor, others said four firemen, scientists, etc. When it was Pierre's turn, he stood up. The teacher said, Pierre, what do you want to be when you grow up? Pierre loudly proclaimed, I want to be king. <laughs> In many respects, Pierre has fulfilled his wish to be king. Not in the traditional sense that he inherited a position or rules a country. There's other definitions of king. One is chief among competitors. Another is the definition of a king on a chessboard. The piece that's able to move forwards, backwards, left and right. And he exemplifies that. And I'll get to that back. A person that's able to move forward, backward, left and right as a little story. When I first met Pierre, we exactly didn't hit it off. We were two leaders sharing for a same voice in a small community. All for the right reasons. But I'll tell you what, it didn't end that way. In short time, Pierre built a bridge, and I walked across that bridge. And after a couple of months, attended a couple of meetings, and went to a couple of functions, and I started to see what he was all about. He is a strong leader for his family and his community. And I was like, wow, that's how I want to be. I want to be strong for my family and my community. And from that point, we were friends. But the story did not end there. Now that we're friends, we started doing things together. And we got out to various functions around town. From Slavic Village to Tremont to Asian Town to Collinwood out to Shaker Square and over to Little Italy. What I found, Pierre was accepted everywhere. But more importantly, he accepts all the different cultures. And after learning this and becoming his friend and traveling to all these communities and all these different events and all these different active backgrounds and experience and all these different cultures, we were no longer friends. We were family. He was a brother. But it didn't end there. We kept going, and I found him to be a proponent of everything greater Cleveland by extension of Ohio. And by this definition, he was a king. And what I mean is he would build a bridge. Just like the piece on the chessboard, whether he had to go back, forward, left, or right, he has the passion and ability to build bridges to all the different multicultural aspects of our wonderful city. And by this definition, he's every word, every meaning, a king amongst our people. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please. Welcome, my brother in arms, here in John, and our king of culture, the king of the country of all things.
Well, I don't know what else to say. How did you get the story about me and my, <laughs> and my, and my uh, grade that I wanted, that's true, everybody speaks about it till now, that uh, all my classmates, they wanted to be different and I wanted to be king. And it just, uh, that's, uh, it brings uh, yeah. tears to my eyes. Thank you, Tony. Mayor Tony, this is a great introduction. Uh, these are beyond kind words. These are really words from the heart. And I know you are not only a friend and a family, you're a great, 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 great supporter. I have been a privilege to know you, not only as the mayor of Seven Hills, where I have resided for over 25 years, but also as a great leader for the city of Seven Hills and the surrounding region with the foresight to think outside the box to improve our communities. And you do it with the utmost authenticity. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, man. Uh, yes, yes, please. Communities. And you do it with the utmost authenticity. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, man. Uh, yes, yes, please. Uh, do it quick. I have uh, a bunch of our groups from the community here. And uh, I apologize for being spread out. Uh, we were supposed to be on the same area, but uh, I don't know, something went wrong with the, with the distribution. But I apologize for you, my, uh, my fellow people, my fellow community. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being here and thank you for being here today. Thank you. Uh, a special thanks to Bishop Malisic. Thank you, Bishop, for your beautiful words and your praise. Also, a special thank you to our community clergy here tonight. We have uh, Father Eli Elias Yasek from St. Mary's Church. Thank you, Father. Father George Haddad from St. Elias Church. Thank you, Father. And we're supposed uh, to have uh, the Imam, Imam Ramis Istanbul, uh, I guess uh, he couldn't make it, but he was, he's with us in the heart. Thank you, Imam. Uh, I am humbled and honored to be inducted into the Cleveland International Hall of Fame. Especially during the month of April, as we celebrate this month as Arab American Heritage Month. Uh, it is with great pride to be inducted in this year a class of very well deserving inductees. I have had the privilege of knowing and working with several of you. Prior years and inductees also included people I considered mentors who paved the way to me to stand here tonight. And few of them are here, Arimina and Dr. Wairakuri. Thank you for paving the way. The famous uh, Lebanese philosopher and poet, Gibran Khalil Gibran, once said, He who denies his heritage has no heritage. And uh, I'm proud of my Lebanese heritage. Uh, I just want to correct Mr. Sudarshan. The Lebanese and the Phoenician created the alphabet also. <laughs> so, uh, uh, 
So, I know my grandfather, I don't know how you got the story. My grandfather, who I called Jindu in the Lebanese, and I'm telling you, Jindu, was my hero. He was the mayor of my hometown, Kahal, for over 50 years. And the president of the mayor's associations in Mount Lebanon. I was his first grandchild. And this honor has shaped me into the person I have become. My grandpa was a powerful, fair, conscientious, and respected man. Most political and elected official needed his blessing, including presidents. And I was always by his side, receiving many dignitaries and world leaders when they come to Lebanon. One treasured memory was when the Emperor of Ethiopia, what is my Ethiopian friend? Hi, <laughs> Ashi. When the, when the Emperor of Ethiopia, Hela Silasi, visited Lebanon, I was a child who welcomed him and greeted him next to Grandpa with a flag and a flower bouquet. My Grandpa left this earth a few years ago, but his memory and influence will always be with me. He always told me to be humble and respectful to everyone, no matter who you are. Jindo will be very proud <coughs> to see this introduction tonight. I started this journey to make a difference and to elevate the respect and understanding of the Lebanese and Arabic communities. It has become a mission and a daily progress in elevating and improving the preconceived notions of our community and creating an understanding within different cultures. We still have a long way to go. The transformation continues with the groups like ICC Women, <coughs> Cleveland Cultural Gardens, and many other organizations with individuals who are trying to connect these diverse groups in the great city and county. Getting to know many of these dedicated individuals has been a privilege. And I am grateful for all you you have told me about your cultures. I have learned that with as many of the dissimilarities I thought we had, we are much more alike than different. When I think of our society, I see a vast river that flows through time. Each of our cultures feeds into the river and can make such an impact that we can change the course of the river's outcome. Each of us is responsible for feeding into the river to change its course to show the world our vibrant ethnicity and unique characteristics that make Cleveland this place we call home so beautiful. I can't thank you enough for all of you here tonight attending and celebrating this milestone in my journey with me. Your presence here tonight means the world to me, especially to my family, who traveled from across the globe, my sister Pauline, my brother Shafi, my nieces Mariana and Christelle, and my nephew Anthony. Thank you for being with me and sharing this with us. Thank you to my friends who also came from across the United States. I have my friend Joe, thank you Joe, 
and my friend also, uh, Mike, Mike Orra. Thank you. Thank you for traveling from Athens to be here with us tonight. This journey wouldn't have been possible without the support and understanding of my wife for over 30 years, Mary. Thank you. Our beautiful daughter, Julia, is the purpose of my living and success. The support of my community was pivotal in helping me proceed with different projects and the presentation in our community. And I am forever grateful for the many friends and community leaders I have developed during my time and many are here tonight. Thank you. Thank you to the Cleveland International Hall of Fame and the nominating committee for choosing me. A big thank you to the Hansons for putting on this great event to celebrate Cleveland's most profound culture leaders. I am and will continue to be eternally grateful for this honor. Thank you. I have one more note. Tomorrow night, all of you are invited. As Cambio President, we're having our annual iftar dinner uh, tomorrow night at Sibiana Restaurant in uh, Westlake. All of you are welcome to come and share with us and our brothers and sisters, the Muslim community, the iftar before uh, the Eid uh, end of the week. Thank you so much.